Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. Today I'm going to talk about seven things to expect when you start working out. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Perry Tinsley here, health and fitness coach, creator of the Power Blast podcast, and I've got my parrot bingo in the background here. Um, I'm going to share with you some uh, some things about j- just seven things I think that you can expect when you start working out. And uh, uh, just a quick note, we just got done, this guy, this guy impressed me a lot, um, got done with driving across the country about 1,500 miles. As a matter of fact, I think it was closer to 1,800 miles um, because my wife and I, we are moving to Minneapolis for, for a little bit and the place that we're living does not, won't allow um, caged animals and so my parrot Bingo here. He is uh, he's moved in with my folks' house, and that's where I'm doing this recording. So these guys uh, that just driving across the country just totally impressed me. A lot of times you're really stressed out when you're when you're in the middle of a move, and you know then you've got a car packed to the hilt, and you're trying to transport your your pets. But I'll tell you what. Our cat, she just roamed the car. She chilled out in the front seat. She was totally awesome. This guy had his own perch um, that was uh, in the back seat. He chilled out. They were great in the hotel rooms. That took the pressure off. So it was. I learned a lot of lessons from these guys on how to just chill and go with the flow. So uh, that, that's why I'm here, and, and I'm featuring him on, on the podcast here. So seven things that you can expect when you start working out. One obvious one, you'll probably feel sore. I don't even want to say probably, you will feel sore because your muscles haven't been used to, uh, to uh, going through those motions. Just know this, you know, soreness is just kind of a state the intensity will vary over time the more you exercise and stuff like that. So just accept it and say, you know what, I'm going to be sore. No big deal. I'll work through it. But then the, the, the next few things, um, number two, you might notice an increase in energy levels over time. And I think that's a big um a big surprise for a lot of people. There's a lot of people that just drag and they, they they struggle with energy throughout the day. They're they're pounding down energy drinks. Then they're crashing or they're they're, they're hitting Starbucks all the time or coffee places. And then you know a few hours later they're 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 bonking. And so just know that in time your energy levels will just all of a sudden just be a state of great, you know, um, great, not necessarily surges, but you'll just feel a lot more upbeat and, and, and energetic. And it's kind of hard to explain until you kind of experience that. Um, uh, it's just a, a great feeling to know that you're, gosh, I've got energy through the day. I'm not bonking and crashing at 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, the, the next thing is the best sleep of your life can become a regular thing. I know a lot of people struggle with sleep. That's kind of the crazy thing with energy and 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 energy during the day and sleep because a lot of times people are like, okay, I'm trying to get to sleep and I have all this energy, <laughs> and then during the day I'm like, man, I gotta go to sleep. But you'll find those patterns kind of kind of reverse and deeper sleep, better sleep during the. Um, nighttime hours, regular sleep, and uh, just great energy uh, throughout the day. Uh, the next thing is you, you probably will feel hungrier than usual. The muscles, they'll, they'll need food. And so when that happens, you want to make sure that you, you uh, kind of done some research and prepare to have some healthy choices to do as opposed to I'm hungry. I got to stop at McDonald's and whatever. And then you're fueling your body with artery clogging things that are going to bonk your energy. That's going to make you have weight gain, etc. But uh, if you remember, food is fuel. And if you, when you're hungry, reach for things that are going to fuel fuel your body. That's going to be uh, a carry you forward really, really well. Um, as as far as that. The next thing, and, and this is, I faced a lot of stress in the past week, but stress might be easier to handle and your overall mood will probably improve. These are great things that, that are such benefits of, of exercise, but this is what you can expect. 
Um, just a lot of the times when your body's ready to impact the stress as, as, as opposed to creating a drama fest for yourself, you're able to just somehow handle it or problem solve or not be as impacted. I, I, I can't quite explain. I'm sure that there's some websites out there of why people handle stress better when they're doing exercise or they're getting healthy and, and fit. Um, maybe it has to do with brain chemistry and whatever. Um, but uh, just know that stress is just easier to handle. That's kind of an easy way to explain it. Um, just know that the next thing is there will be setbacks and there will be times where you want to quit and there'll be plateaus and there'll be frustration and there'll be some weight gain times and they'll, you'll get off track. Accept that that's going to happen and then move forward to the next day and look to improve whatever the next day is going to be for you. Uh, just know that there are going to be setbacks, uh, times you want to quit, and you just got to say, you know what, that's what happened today. I'm going to move forward tomorrow and make it a better day and make better choices and not wait and put things off to the next week or the next month. I know a lot of you out there do that. You'll be like, oh my gosh, I got off track this week and uh, and then give up for the next four days and then vow to get back on on a Monday. Just Stop that mentality now and say, I'm getting back on track tomorrow and make it happen. Uh, last thing, your confidence can reach new heights. That's pretty cool when, uh, when you experience that because as you start to exercise, you start to feel better about yourself. You, you start to handle stress better. You start to sleep better. Your mood increases. And there, this confidence thing just starts to kind of kick in and you feel like you're able to accomplish a lot more and uh, problem solve and think clearer. And there's just a lot of things that go into the, the confidence. And um, I, I just find it incredible that as you go through your, your workout routine, you know, whatever the exercise routine that you're doing, whether it's you know going swimming, going biking, doing CrossFit, doing beach body on demand, jazzercise, whatever, um, you're going to start noticing these things as you're more consistent with your workouts. And probably as the bonus uh, bonus thing that you're going to notice with uh, what to expect when you start working out, you're going to start getting results. Uh, the, the obvious thing is you, you want to get some quick wins. And I, I think you can get some really quick wins just by dialing in some of the nutrition. Just a few of the tips that I've been doing recently have kind of shifted my mindset is – uh, before I eat, I pound down a bunch of water or and I drink a lot of water uh, right away to start the day. So kind of water first. Uh, most of my uh, meals have primarily veggies. Um, if you if you do add a lot of vegetables, your, your body just seems to just uh, really enjoy those. And those two things, uh, especially if you track, what you eat, and if you weigh yourself every single day, you're going to find yourself to get some real quick wins there with your results. And then, you know, you'll have the soreness and stuff like that. And But just watch all these other things with the better sleep, uh, lower in stress, more confidence, uh, might feel a little bit hungry. The setbacks will happen, but okay, tomorrow's another day. And you'll start to notice the, these benefits that just kick in that might be hard to kind of realize at the very, very beginning. A lot of us tend to just think, gosh, I'm just going to be sore and I'm going to be bored and I'm going to hate this. You just kind of push through those little things. You'll find that you're going to have all these other benefits kick in. It's just kind of one of those trust the process sort of things and find out for yourself. So, uh, dig into your workout program, whatever it is. If you're looking for something that's going to be right for you that you don't have to drive to the gym to do and you want to do right in the comfort of your own home, that was me. Um, I just I didn't feel, have the confidence to go to a gym and I, and I didn't know what the results were going to be for my workouts. So I just did my stuff at home. Went back, locked myself in my room, Put on, a, put on a video and just follow what the trainer did on TV. And day by day, I watched results happen. I watched a lot of these benefits happen that I've been telling you about, things to expect. And so I'm speaking from experience here. 
and I'm, I'm speaking from experience that I've seen a lot of other people uh, that I've coached have happen. And, uh, you know, I want them to happen for you. So you can reach out to me at perrytinsley at gmail.com and I can help you create a plan. And if you've already got one, you know, message me, share with me. Um, and if you've experienced some of these, please reach out and, and let me know. If you find that uh, this, this episode had some great tips that you feel, feel could benefit somebody else, please uh, comment or share this. That would absolutely rock. And I so appreciate you for coming on and being a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can go over to iTunes or just do a search for Power Blast Podcast and um, uh, lock it into your podcast app. That would absolutely be really, really cool. And if you're in iTunes or your podcast app and can give an honest rating and review, that will help reach more people. You absolutely rock, my friend. That's all I have for this week. Remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.